What's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today bringing us a brand new video 2022 typography trends and variations basically giving us some really fun little typography examples or ideas to go into Photoshop be a little more inspired just gotta get in there and gotta you have an idea of what to do with some text I know it's hard I know it's difficult sometimes so hopefully these will give you guys a little bit more just spice and just that uh, extra hand we'll call it okay so with that being said of course uh, the English is just like a little, like a little bit too difficult. Okay, so with that being said, though, be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, just that's all I got. So enjoy the video. Okay, peace. All right, guys. So let's start off with a really simple yet effective type treatment in the right setting, and that's overlapping additional text. It's a really strong way to actually benefit adding context or any additional information to the viewer without interrupting more space on the canvas. It's sort of disruptive attitude brings a bit of a futuristic vibe that can also be exaggerated with other display fonts or handwritten elements. It's honestly really easy to do and even consider because it is an excellent choice when you're trying to build on a concept that doesn't want the intrusion of more type on the canvas. I'd say give this a try and be aware that this works best with heavy contrast. So colored background, black text, white subtext can be a really good way to start off your type exploration. Now the next idea is type fill-ins. If you guys have a font like the one I'm using right now, mine is known as Neutro, if you guys wanted to know, where the letters themselves have a really fun attitude or at least the spacing of the letters where it's obviously empty to support the frame of the letter itself, filling this space in with the same color as the text itself allows the actual type to feel a little bit more playful and fun. You can even expand on this idea with throwing in some supporting iconography or abstract shapes to support your design theory. Also, don't be afraid either to take some of these letters and make them separate colors. For instance, if you want to kind of make one letter stand out, make it white over the actual contrasting background. To me, this overall vibe kind of gives me off like a New York vibe, and I'm pretty sure that like my color scheme helps support that idea. But a different type can also cause a different attitude. So maybe if it's a more bubbly or sans serify kind of font, it can also bring in this really cool vibe as well. For me, I would say it's generally worth exploring the next time you actually want to add a little bit more to your design. Next one is super simple. I'm not really sure how you guys would get away with this in like corporate design, but in theory or you know, explorations or personal projects, okay? Taking the word and spacing them out in order to actually fill space is a subtle way to add a little bit more to the design. Especially when the scenario for me lends itself with a paragraph of words has like a really awkward same length distance, this can honestly help solve for that. And it can also add by giving you guys some more room for supporting info or like iconography. So I would say don't knock the theory before you actually try it. It might be that exact thing that you guys are looking to do in order to actually complete that weird spacing itch. Up next is the idea of blurred text in motion. Can you guys tell I don't find cool names for these effects before I actually do the video? Yeah, okay. Anyway, this is actually a really easy one to do. Start off with your word of choice split in half. One half of the text being behind the object or the person and the other half being in front. Now with the text that is behind the person, go to filter, blur gallery and choose iris blur. Here's where you'll move the effect so you find that perfect blur amount, which can actually be controlled in that middle circle ring. Afterwards, press OK to exit. Then on the text in front of your person, make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl J, then lowering the duplicated layer's fill to 0%. Afterwards, head into the layer options and choose stroke. With a supporting color and 2-3 to three size, I think is a pretty perfect amount. Of course, then just press OK and offset your text a little bit and there you guys go. It's a very awesome effect in my opinion to kind of put a static image in motion and it's also just, just cool overall. So playing with the actual foreground and the background is always a really fun way to add some depth to an image. And if you guys are wondering how that works, well maybe you guys can just give this effect a shot. Now for the last little type effect, we have type shapes. The idea behind this is to take a word in a really cool font and duplicate it by holding alt and dragging it over. You guys want to make sure that you are offsetting the spacing of your words, that way it looks something like this. You can extend some duplicated words on either side and that basically kind of helps the word act as a texture. However, the visibility of the word itself isn't completely lost. Since basically doing the offset pattern, you can kind of figure out what the word is in a way. Now though, once you guys got your duplicate, take the top layer of your duplicated text and select it. Hold shift and then select the last layer. That way all the layers in between are selected and then you can press Ctrl E to merge all the layers together. Now just take your pen tool and make some triangles or any basic shape that you want to do. Right click and now make the path a selection of course. And then with the rectangle marking tool selected, you guys will now have the option when you guys right click to layer via copy and you guys are all set. It's a really quick and easy way to kind of fill space around a canvas and honestly just add a little bit of hype as well. 
it is honestly definitely worth trying if you guys want to add a little bit of spice to your project. You know, just a little, just a little something, something. And with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys will take some of these really cool little fun ideas in the, in the, in the video and kind of go into Photoshop, a little bit more inspired, a little bit more thought about how you can actually navigate your text. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the purpose of these videos. So of course, on this little top right thing, uh, that panel, you guys can just figure out some more. I'll make a playlist. I don't have one yet. I'll make a playlist of the typography kind of trends and variations videos. And uh, yeah, we go from there. So with that being said, guys, set some HQ out. You don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay Stay a freaking productive guys later much love and enjoy your day and your weekend all that good stuff and just yep enjoy peace